Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my Relic P-Base build. Uh, in the last video, we uh, put the color coats on, put the clear coat on, Relic the hardware, and now we're moving on to finishing uh, the, the finish. I'm going to uh, wet sand and polish the uh, body and get it ready for the relicking. So, you know, kind of a bit of a painful process, uh, getting it all nice and pretty just to kind of uh, wreck it after. But... I think it's going to turn out really cool, uh, so full steam ahead. How last we here? Oh, oh. I actually just sent it through in a couple spots, but you know, hey, Bob, it's doesn't matter. We got some good news for you. We're gonna relic it anyway, so I'm gonna show. And there we have a wet sanded and polished finish. As you can see, I uh, accidentally sanded through on a couple parts, but uh, you know, it's gonna be relic anyway, so I can just incorporate that into the final product. And to be quite honest, I, uh, I didn't try as hard on this, uh, just, knowing that I was going to turn around and ruin it right after. But I think I did a pretty good job. Definitely serviceable enough for the uh, for what I plan to do next, which is relicking. So, let's get into it. The point of no return. Hopefully I don't damage this thing beyond salvation.
and uh, the relicking is complete. You'll notice I've moved to my kitchen. It's because it's getting a little, little chilly outside. The whole time I was doing this, I was uh, quite nervous. Uh, I kept asking myself, "What are you doing?" And I just kept saying, "Mike." Making it look mean. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it turned out pretty cool. The uh, the dye really helped yellow up the finish. I was kind of worried it was going to be too too uh, too white, but uh, no, it turned out pretty 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 good. Uh, I followed the reference photo and just uh, kind of went for it. Uh, not the best, not perfect, but you know, good enough. So now. I can move on to uh, putting this back together.
Well, here it is, the final product. I have to say, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I didn't really do much to the neck because I was a little nervous. I didn't want to make it completely unplayable. So I might go back at some point and try some things, but I'm just going to leave it as is for now. Uh, if you look closely, I mean, there's some issues. So I might go back and tidy those up uh, at some point. But overall, I have to say, I think I did an all right job on this one. Uh, so the only thing left now to do really is to demo, demo it for you. So to do that, I'm going to play a song uh, from the band Ironside, who if you watched my last video series, I uh, used some of their music in one of the episodes. And actually, they're, uh, they're good friends of mine and they asked me to join uh, and play bass. So that's kind of what uh, prompted me to finish this project in the first place, is I needed uh, a, a good bass. So uh, I'm going to play one of their songs uh, called Scumbags, one of my favorite songs of theirs to play. It's got a really fun bass line. And while I'm playing, I'll probably, uh, you know, throw in some pictures over top just to show off uh, some of the finer details like the relicking and the checking patterns and all that. All right, guys, that's it for this video series. I just want to say thank you for watching along. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't yet, uh, click the like button below, hit subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.